So hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Carlos and I'm an SPM solution consultant here at ServiceNow. And today we'll explore the latest enhancements to our resource management capabilities in our upcoming Xanity release. So this presentation may contain forward-looking statements that reflect the current beliefs of ServiceNow and are based on current information available. These forward-looking statements should not be relied upon in making purchasing decisions. So in this video, we're gonna be exploring the latest updates to our resource management workspace which built upon the version we released earlier this year. For those that are not familiar to this new console, the resource management workspace provides a dedicated place where resource managers can view dynamic portfolios of resources, proactively approve or reject assignments with visual aids, and discover resource conflicts, all to ensure project continuity with ease. So the first update is gonna be split resource assignments. And this is really gonna allow users to allocate work to specific time slots, helping optimize resource utilization. So within the resource management workspace, when you drill into user and you select a resource assignment that's been created, as a user, all you have to do is select split within three dots. And then when you hit split resource assignment, all you have to do then is just enter the date at which the split will need to happen. The split is then gonna create a separate resource assignment starting from the day of the split. So as you see here on the bottom, you have now two resource assignments that have been created. And this could really be beneficial for reallocating work to another user or to potentially mark time off for a user as well. The next update is gonna be actuals versus allocated view. So a new toggle on the side panel settings now enables users to compare actuals versus allocated for that resources time. So this really helps resource managers get really clear insights into resources and their actual usage and utilization. So now within that resource management workspace, moving over to our settings menu on the side panel and then toggling over show actuals. Once you hit show actuals, that's gonna provide two columns, one with our planned hours and then another with our actual hours. Next update. We're going to be the indicator for status or allocation changes. So any updates to approved resource assignments are now going to be reflected in the resource status column. So hovering over the indicator is going to now reveal details about the changes, helping both project and resource managers track updates efficiently. One of the new updates is now users are gonna be able to create new operational and task-based assignments directly from the drop-down menu under new. So after entering the start and end dates of the type of work, the new assignment will then appear under that designated resource. Another update is the ability to create a resource card at the project level. So when you're generating a resource card, First thing that you're gonna do now is select work type. Once you select work type and you're in the filtering options menu, then you just select the project and your project name. In addition to that, if you wanted to view epics, demands, the same capabilities are now available for that as well. So a new attribute column in the upper tray now offers quick access to key information. So within your resource management workspace view, you're gonna to go to column configuration on the right-hand side panel. And then now you're gonna have the ability to select a different attributes related to your resource assignments. These could be groups, roles, skills. This could also be information related to the project. So things like project status, priority columns. This could really help benefit project managers and help them organize needs when making resource assignment decisions. So Heatmap now provides a clear view of allocated work in terms of FTEs, hours, and person days. So this feature was developed based on customer feedback and allows resource managers to allocate, view, and plan their work more effectively. So all these enhancements really benefit resource and project managers offering greater control and visibility. All features are included in the SPM standard and SPM professional offerings, and the resource management workspace plugin can be installed or updated via the ServiceNow store.
So that concludes the latest updates to our resource management workspace. We hope these enhancements help you manage resources more efficiently with greater visibility and flexibility. We'll see you in the next video.